Welcome back to video 2 where I cannot see a thing, but the Mighty Ducks Game Changers episode 9 came out on Friday and it took me a few days to watch it because I've been talking about it but I've had some eye issues. I talked about it a little bit in my Army of the Dead video. Basically this eye got a little messed up with contacts. I've been wearing these but they aren't fully up to my prescription so I couldn't even read the titles while sitting on my bed on Disney+. Plus. But anyway, talking about the episode, this one is one of the best ones, like top 3, top 2, and maybe Maybe even battles for my favorite. This was the second to last episode here and I was really excited to see what they were gonna do and I of course spoiler warning as always but we don't actually get any hockey play here. One of my complaints with the show earlier on is that they were lacking actual hockey but in this episode they make up for the lack of hockey by actually making the characters really interesting and the dynamics between them and they use like modern relationships too because the, I don't think there is a scene of hockey here in this episode and a lot of people won't like that. But I think it worked because we get to see all these kids and we see them interact. We see that, you know, Evan obviously likes Sophie and Sophie obviously likes Evan, but he texts her this and then Sophie's kind of, he texts her like, want to go to this party that's starting later that night and they're going to state. Like they made it to state, which is just nice to see. And they're going to state and Bombay is getting in Coach T's head, but I'll talk about uh, Coach T a little bit later. And then as they're driving there, Evan goes to ask Sophie to this party, but then uh, he, I don't know why he texted her and didn't just walk back. And then she just sent like, three emojis of girls and said see you there because like the two other girls were like no girls not girls we can't and all this and that kind of, it was a little annoying sometimes I was like okay you're overplaying this a bit but it was okay they did some stuff with the guys too I was like okay but then obviously as they get there one of the girls of, of course takes off with one of like the enemy players and then leaves like the the girl with the capes kind of by herself with Sophie and then Sophie's kind of trying to get back at Evan because the girl MJ like the one who basically runs the podcast Evan asks her for for advice just to like ask out uh, Sophie for real and then she takes it as like her way of saying like oh yeah of course I'll go with you you know and then she goes but it turns out in the end she was just trying to make Nick jealous which is funny because Nick actually liked her and then you know they get, they get together it's nice and also Nick just big standout in this episode I thought like one there were a bunch but big one because it's like they cranked up his humor even more and this episode flew by but he had some of my favorite jokes and my favorite jokes of the entire show show like this is probably the funniest episode too but towards the end they actually tapped into some drama and for me it worked like in the past it hasn't exactly worked sometimes there are sometimes where it's worked but not all the time but here I thought it worked really well also something I really noticed in this episode is that Alex like her performance um Laura Graham Lauren Graham Laura Laura Graham I think it's Lauren Graham uh one thing she does really well like she isn't in the episode a ton but one thing she does really well is her little like subtle things like when um Stephanie yes that's the duck's mom who's like her boss Suzanne she's always just like oh Oh. She has like these little facial reactions and I think it's funny. That's just something I noticed and I liked her here too. You know, she has a funny thing with Stephanie and we see kind of a turn with Stephanie here as well. But I think the main thing about this episode, besides obviously the fact that now they've made it to state, yeah, we didn't see any hockey as I mentioned, but they made it to state is that Bombay and Coach T, who's like Dylan Playfair, who's the one in Letterkenny, just Oh, still awesome seeing him. I will never get over it. It's just so awesome seeing him here. They're kind of sitting out of like the party like they're just sitting at the bar That's like cl close to it I guess and then they kind of get talking and then Bombay admits and tells him tells coach T the reason why He stopped coaching for a while because he gave a player relay. Like, he helped out a player um, who didn't have a lot of money kind of because he was an amazing hockey player This was like 10 years ago or like decades ago He said and he helped him out which obviously you can't do so they kind of banned him for being the coach I think it's the NCAA or something something like that something with those letters and then obviously they come in and they're like uh, Gordon Bombay yeah, you're not allowed to coach. And then it all kind of builds to this ending of just this episode. I am explaining like it's a massive Lord of the Rings type building, but no. Um, it builds to this ending and then they're kind of having this case in a way because Coach T turned him in. You know, this guy isn't the best guy out there. He just wants to win. We see like he was saying like, yeah, like 5.30 a.m. You're going to get up. You're going to run and everything. I'm just like, oh my god but then as they're kind of having this like mini case in a way bombay starts talking about the reason why it's so important to coach these kids saying that like they couldn't skate and stuff and then he had kind of a, a he turned them around in like a good way and then that's kind of how he is now but then they're like no we can't let you and then alex comes in with stephanie because they rush there after getting really wasted off wine and then alex kind of defends him in a way and just like reads this thing off her phone basically the obvious obviously she prepared because you know like she's kind 
kind of a lawyer, or at least she's kind of in that business, so when she shows up, she's like, yep, I'm his lawyer, <laughs> and it was kind of funny like that, she reads it off, they let him be coach, and the episode ends, we don't get any hockey, but they set up the ending episode really well, I'm hoping to see Charlie Conway back, I'm hoping to see uh, more of the ducks back, but I feel like it'll mainly just be like Charlie, he'll either be in one of the first scenes, or like the very last 5-10 minutes of the episode. Overall, this was one of my favorite episodes here, there are times where it does get a little cringy, and I get that's the point, like they are adapting to this modern audience so we get some lines with the emojis and stuff which was fine but sometimes you know they get so like oh my god girls weekend oh my god dude you, how did you say that like stuff like that where I was like okay it's kind of pushing it a little bit but I am really excited for the finale now I probably will end up watching it on a Friday especially if my eyes get better and I can actually wear my contacts again but I'm gonna give episode 9 of the Mighty Ducks Game Changers a 4 out of 5 yeah, it was really good. It was a really good episode, and I don't know if you guys are watching the show. I hope you are, because obviously I would have spoiled it for you, but I'm really excited. I'll, I don't really know if what's coming out. Oh yeah, they got like a Quiet Place 2 and stuff coming out Friday, but since where I live in Ontario here, we're still in lockdown. Theaters are still closed. I have no way of seeing it, which kind of pisses me off, because I love the first one. It's one of my most anticipated movies, but I will review that once it's out, and I'll talk about this one either probably on the Saturday, either on the Friday or the Saturday. I'll see how it kind of works out out in the week but what did you think of this episode was it one of your favorites like me tell me in the comments down below and i'll see you guys next time over and out